I'm going to clean the uh, the front panel of the IG uh, oh, what am I saying of the ever ready entry uh, because um, I don't like the paint I don't like the color uh, and I'm also going to uh, do something about this really horrible finishing of the uh, dial cover um, it, it, it looks horrible and uh, well I I don't know if this is the original finish but I don't like it so uh, I'm going to uh, try to find a way to release the cover of the dial and then uh, take off this this grungy dirty glue I guess that's what it is uh, and then uh, prepare the board for uh, or the panel for repainting I'm also in the process of detaching the speaker cover uh, so that I can uh, access the part behind it uh, so I'm going to take off the speaker and the speaker cover uh, next I'm also going to prepare uh, all the hardware all the metal which is used uh, on the ever ready uh, give, give it a base coat and then uh, uh, paint it. Uh, I'm probably going to use a paint color which most of you would not approve of but um, well um, you'll see. Uh, anyway uh, don't forget this radio is uh, I consider really like a uh, well you could say it's part of the learning curve I'm uh, going through uh, restoring uh, old vintage equipment uh, something I uh, well never did uh, quite as intensively as I'm doing now so uh, well that's it for now uh, I'll uh, show you progress updates as I go okay um, with uh, with a little bit of acetone and a lot of patience I managed to clean off uh, all the glue. Um, it's surprising really how easily uh, acetone dissolves glue. Uh, and I'm told acetone is also what's in uh, nail varnish remover so um, if you ever run out of this well you can always try uh, nail varnish remover anyway um, that is where I'm standing for now uh, I'll be cleaning up this whole area uh, well in fact I'm going to clean the whole uh, metal cover and when that is done, then uh, I'll put it aside for now, and I'll uh, start cleaning all the all the metal bits of the ever ready. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, the weather is holding up for the moment, so and it's not too cold. It's not below zero, so I'm going to take use of the circumstances to give the front panel a light sanding here and here and then give it a second coating of primer when that is done I'll start coating these with a uh, ornamental layer uh, I'm not divulging yet what color I'm going to give it but uh, it'll be a metallic coating as you can imagine 
Uh, I hope you like it, and if not, well, so be it. So give me a moment, uh, and I'll be back with another update. So, okay, I hung the front of the panel up. Now I'm going to start coating it again. Uh, there's only a very slight wind and there's still enough daylight to do it outside. So let's start with it. And there you go. As you can see it's metallic but it's, it has a very slight copper or maybe bronze sheen to it. So you might say it's brass colored but really in an understated way so I only painted the top uh, of the pieces mm, maybe I might give them a coating on the underside too I'm not sure yet but I might just to finish it off completely so my first impression is it looks okay um, it's uh, tasteful in an understated way so uh, well there you go that's the top layer um, we'll let it dry for a little while and then we'll give the underside uh, a coating of it mm, I'm not sure yet whether I should give them also a, a lacquer uh, coating but maybe I might just to finish it off uh, and to protect the uh, color coating. So that's it for now. Uh, I'll be back with an update later on. Bye bye. No, I didn't forget the screws, as you can see. Uh, I gave them a base coating with primer and for at least the visible screws which means practically all of them I'm also going to give them a finishing lacquer layer but obviously only when they are dry so that's it for now next update coming soon